Assalamualaikum. My name is Widi Mutakin from Expos Academy. In this online course, you will learn how to create two different illustrations step by step from start to finish. These two illustrations have something in common, and that is they both combine vector and raster techniques. But the way vector graphics are used in each of these illustrations is very different. In the first illustration, which is a strawberry house, vector graphics are used as the base color. Raster techniques are then used on top of it to add shadings, highlights, textures, and so on. While in the second illustration, where we will draw a robot warrior, vector graphics are used to create the outline or the line art. For the coloring process, we will explore a different technique. That is, we will start with defining shading and highlight in grayscale. Then we add colors to it using the gradient map filter. And after that, we apply various raster techniques to add lighting effects and finalize the illustration. Because there are so many features and techniques involved in making these two illustrations, of course, we are not going to jump straight into making the illustration. You will be guided to learn the basics first, then gradually move up to more advanced techniques. In this course, you will learn various advanced selection techniques, then learn vector techniques in depth, from creating basic primitive objects to being able to create custom complex shapes. You will also learn thoroughly the filter and mask features. We will discuss various filters such as HSV, levels, color balance, and so on, including how to access hundreds of GMIC filters. Then, you will also learn the gradient feature in detail. From the process of creating gradient presets, editing the gradient colors, until applying gradients using various methods, there are still many things you will learn from this course. It is impossible to explain them all one by one in this short video. Please refer to the curriculum section to learn more. But before you decide to join this course, I need to remind you that this course is not designed for complete beginners who have never used Krita before. The curriculum of this course is designed as the continuation of the basic level course. So, just to be safe, I recommend you to take the basic level course first before taking this one. The second thing I also need to remind you is that you will need a drawing tablet to be able to learn from this course effectively. A drawing tablet is an input device which generally consists of a board and a pen. This device is equipped with sensors to detect how hard you press the pen when drawing. Although you can use the mouse to draw an illustration, still, it will be much faster and more effective if you use a drawing tablet. I hope this course can be helpful for you. Wassalamualaikum.